are there any risks and are they safe? Now, I, I think the heart of this, I think why we're here tonight in some ways, is, is an attempt to answer the question, are vaccines safe? All vaccines have mild side effects like pain or redness or tenderness where the shot is given. And some vaccines have more severe side effects. For example, the new um, pertussis vaccine or whooping cough vaccine is a very, very rare cause of persistent inconsolable crying, uh, listlessness, lethargy, high fever. And so I, I think you know, any parent could reasonably ask, why not just avoid the risk and, and not get a vaccine? Pertussis uh, in its clinical form is, is really an awful disease um, and, and a devastating disease to watch because there's really very little that you can do um, in infants specifically. Uh, you know, a young child is coughing. We always think of it as a whooping cough. Young children cannot create a whoop and so they basically become apneic. They stop breathing and turn blue. Um, and this can happen at any time. Pertussis is very common in adults. In fact, it's, it's a relatively common cause of a illness with prolonged cough in adults. And adults may not seek medical attention or be aware of, of what their infection is. They can then pass pertussis on to younger members of the family. Her two-month-old came in, wasn't breathing for a time, needed a breathing tube, was in the intensive care nursery. Um, the two-year-old uh, was coughing and vomiting, un unable to eat for a week. The four-year-old was coughing so horribly that she would ask for help um, before going into her coughing spasms. Um, there was a seven-year-old and a 17-year-old, and each of those children um, really missed school for several weeks. The whole family was really adversely affected from um, something that could have been prevented. It's really hard as a caretaker to see the effect of um, choosing not to immunize. For example, in Japan in the mid-1970s, what happened when people stopped getting the, the, the pertussis vaccine is there was a dramatic increase in, 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 in uh, the number of hospitalizations and, and deaths from pertussis. The last thing I want to be doing is seeing lots of measles cases or lots of polio cases or lots of cases of pertussis because um, I don't want to be good at those diseases. I want to see them um, really just in the textbooks. We need to understand that vaccines certainly do have risks, but they're small. And if we choose not to get vaccines, then we're exchanging these small risks for much, much larger risks.